Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac and Jack. Welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be very interesting and it is actually a video that was requested by a few people actually. Um, a few people have been wanting me to do something like this and a lot of people are curious about what it would be like if I dressed normal. And people ask me all the time, like, have you ever dressed normal before? Well, I mean, yeah, like for job interviews and stuff like that. But um, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about the evolution of my style, I guess, and just kind of why I do it and how it all started. And then we'll do the transformation. And if you guys don't want to hear all this, you can go ahead and skip through it. A lot of people are just so curious. A lot of my friends and people that I just run into in public, they're like, you know, why do you dress this way? So I'm just gonna be addressing a few questions and then I will be transforming into a normal style, like whatever that is. I mean, I've only got like one outfit that I could probably show y'all and it's an interview outfit type thing. So it's gonna be kind of weird, but yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in. So my style started when I was born. <laughs> I, you know, I've been doing this my whole life, you guys. And um, a lot of people always ask me, you know, when did you start dressing this way? I mean, I've literally been doing it my whole life. I mean, as far as I can remember being like, five and six, just really enjoying clothes. I've always liked different clothes, no matter what it is. Like I change styles a lot. Like some days I may want to dress goth or I may want to dress punk. I may want to dress like a clown. Like today I've got my clown shirt on and you know, I'm just really feeling it today. I, I really like this and it just depends what mood I'm in, honestly. But I can remember being like six years old or I don't even know. I think I was about six and my brother had a birthday party and it was a Barney themed birthday party and I made my own costume out of paper and I'll put it up on the screen here. I have a picture of that day and I remember it so clearly being so excited to make this costume and it was like that, I guess that was like kind of when it really started for me. And I just remember wanting to just express my creativity through clothes. And I think a lot of times people are so scared to truly show who they are. And I want to encourage you if you are, like don't be. Because people's opinions, when it comes down to it, it really doesn't matter. It matters if people think if you are a nice, decent human being. It really does. And if you are not known as a nice person, like that is not a good thing. You should not worry about what people think of how you look. Because if you look in the mirror and you like what you see, that's what you need to do. And I do want to point out that you should always, always follow dress codes, which I never did a good job at that in school. I tried uh, sometimes, but I always got in trouble with that. You should always follow dress codes though. And you should always listen to your parents if you're underage. I know sometimes that can kind of suck. If you have like work dress codes, school dress codes, you, you know, need to follow that. But outside of all that, I just think that people should express themselves more. And I have just never really been afraid to show that side of me. So a lot of people ask me to if I do it for attention. And I get really tired of that question because of course it attracts attention. That That is going to be a given. If you are going to look, like even if you're just gonna dye your hair, you're going to look different from everyone else and people are going to stare. And that is something that I don't like. I I don't, I, I mean, I guess I don't mind. Like I've gotten so used to it at this point, people just staring. I wish people would just stare sometimes. I've had people throw things at me. I've had people yell at me. I've had people take my picture. I've had people 
run me down in, you know, the mall or a store trying to take my picture, which I think is so weird because, you know, people ask me, can I take your picture? You know, that's fine. Like, whatever. I think it's, it's kind of, you know, uh, crazy probably because I don't realize how I look sometimes, but you know, anyone that dresses differently knows that they're going to get attention. So I think that's just like part of it, but that is not why I do it. I do it because that is what I enjoy. Like I enjoy dressing this way because that's what I like. That's my style. And I don't think that I should deprive myself of that. I think that I have a God given talent, I guess you could say to express my creativity this way and to make clothes and I love dressing this way. I feel like myself and it makes me happy. Yeah, a lot of people ask me that and I wanna clear that up that if you do dress different, you are gonna get attention. It's just part of it, you know? A lot of people also ask me like, I guess we kind of went over this, but it's like, have you always dressed this way? I mean, yes, I wore costumes all the time when I was a kid. You can ask my family. I would run around with costumes on. I used to wear Kimberly from the Power Rangers. I would wear her costume like almost every single day. I have always loved costume themed outfits. And as you guys can tell, <laughs> that's most of my closet. I don't know why I like themed stuff. I just do. <laughs> it's, I don't know how to explain it to y'all. Um, it's just fun. I just have a lot of fun doing this. What else do people ask? Another question that I get is why? Why do you dress this way? Because I want to. That's that's all I can say about that. I mean, I, I don't really know how to answer that when people ask me that question. Um, you know, why do you dress normal? I could ask people that, you know, why do you choose to wear uh, sweatpants and t-shirt when you go out? You know, it, it works both ways. So, and I don't necessarily, you know, have a problem with that question. I, I get tired of being asked that, like, you know, why do you do that? Well, because I want to. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, I don't know how to answer people when they ask someone, like, why do you make that decision? Because it's my life and I want to. Um, and not trying to be like defensive about it, but it's just, um, there's a lot of things that people do in their lives that I don't understand and I don't question it, you know, and I just, I think that as long as you're not harming anyone and you're not harming yourself, then I do think you should wear what makes you happy. And I don't see anything wrong with that. I think, you know, more people need to do that. I'm all for being different and looking different. And I don't dress this way just because I'm like trying to, you know, make a statement like I got to look different all the time and not saying that I like ever had those moments like where I just totally rebelled like in school and stuff and I was like yeah I gotta look different you know and uh do this and that but it was like as I got older I like really realized like this is not gonna change like this is really who I am like this I'm gonna dress like this till I'm gone <laughs> till I leave this earth and you know nobody is going to stop me and especially now that I'm an adult and I'm able to buy my own clothes with my own money <laughs> and I don't have to live, um, you know, not living at home anymore and just having the freedom to do it feels so amazing. Though that is the great part of being an adult, <laughs> which I've been doing this a long time now. And um, I will say like, you know, a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of family have been embarrassed of me many times. Um, I don't care. I don't care what people think about it. If I did, I would have quit doing this a long time ago. <laughs> if we're just being totally honest here. I mean, it just doesn't matter. Like, I'm 31 years old. Like, you know, I... I don't care if you're gonna think what you want to if you think I look crazy guess what I don't care I am kind of crazy so it's fine um and then I get asked a lot too what does your husband think about your style what does he think about all your outfits honestly he doesn't really care <laughs> I mean and it, like in a good way he has always had my back when it comes to all this and he has always been supportive 
Um, and I expressed that to him when I met him. Obviously, he saw it first, but I told him that this is part of who I am. These are the clothes that I wear. This is what I like. He's never had a problem with it. I know sometimes he doesn't really like the wigs. Um, he, he doesn't like if I wear the wigs out sometimes. I think he's gotten like more used to it, which I haven't worn one in a while because I've been dyeing my hair. So yeah, that's gonna be a whole different video. I think I'm gonna start a series on my channel and I'm just gonna talk about some of the questions that people have and that way I can just address it in videos. But anyways, um, yeah, he doesn't care about it. He loves it. He loves me. He knows it's part of who I am. And, you know, like, he doesn't tell me what to wear. I don't tell him what to wear. I mean, it's great because I had dated guys that tried to do that and I ran <laughs> because I was like, that's not how this is going to work. And if you're in a relationship and someone's telling you how to dress and they don't want you to express yourself, you know, um, I couldn't do that. You know, I couldn't be with someone that wouldn't support me and what I like to wear because it is a big part of my life. And I appreciate my husband so much for being so supportive. And um, my family hasn't always been supportive. Uh, some of them, you know, that doesn't include everybody. Um, friends, not always either. Um, but you know, the people that really care about you and care about what just you as a person they'll stick around they will and so i wouldn't worry necessarily so much about what your friends and family think because if they can't accept you for who you are truly like what you like to wear then they may not be the best people for you and that's okay i've had to cut out family and friends and that's just how it works that's how life is sometimes and i'm fine with that I've had family and friends that have been embarrassed to go out with me and that's fine. I don't, you don't have to go out with me. I don't care. I'm not going to change how I dress be to make you more comfortable. And I'm sorry if that comes across as mean, but I'm not going to change who I am for you. And I don't think anybody should. I think that your friends and family will love you for who you are and what you like. I feel like I'm rambling. So I think that's all I was going to cover today in this video as far as the questions. This is a really long introduction. Sorry, you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna transform into this outfit, even though I'm already starting to feel uncomfortable because I hate, I hate like not wearing stuff like this. This is just, I just feel comfortable like this. <laughs> so I don't know y'all, it's gonna be crazy. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this is my normal look. I feel like I'm going to an interview or a corporate event, which sometimes can be fun to dress up like this, but I can't imagine wearing this every single day. I feel extremely uncomfortable and out of place. Um, but yeah, like everything I'm wearing is black. I have a black shirt, black pants, black pinstripe jacket, and the wig was like the only normal colored wig that I had. Um, I had a blonde one, but I figured I could do the brown and black since you guys haven't really seen the brown and black wig. I don't wear it very often, but yeah, this would be my look, my transformation look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little 
video and let me know what you think about it in the comments. Like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much. I'm going to take this outfit off because I feel so uncomfortable. So we're going to wrap this up really quick. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed and Jack and I will see you guys next time. You want to say bye? Come here. Let's do this again. Say bye. What do you think of mommy's new look? Hmm. You looked a little weirded out when you saw it. Is it strange for you? Say bye. Oh.